Today we're making the most delicious low calorie high protein ice cream. In a regular pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, we're looking at 1,000 calories. And in today's protein ice cream, we got 200 calories or lower and a lot of protein. So if you're looking to build some muscle, maybe lose a little bit of fat, and whether you're into an ice cream sandwich, a lovely pop, that's not what it's called, a popsicle, or a massive bowl of just creamy, delicious ice cream, I got you. Mm. Can you believe that this massive ice cream sandwich has 28 grams of protein and under 200 calories? Let's do this. The first ice cream that we're gonna make today is the only ice cream that needs a little time in the freezer before we can actually eat it, but not a lot. But that's why we're starting off with it. By the time we finish the other recipes, this one's gonna be done. And I'm really excited about this one because this was one of my favorite ice creams when I was a kid, but this is just a lot of a healthier version of that one. And we're gonna start off with some Greek yogurt. The one I always use. We're gonna use one cup of Greek yogurt. The next thing you're gonna need is your choice of protein powder. You can use chocolate, blueberry muffin, which is one of my favorites, maybe just regular vanilla. We're gonna use half a scoop. I'm just gonna keep it simple and use vanilla because I'm thinking a lot of you guys have a vanilla protein powder at home, but if you want a really good one, you can use this one. I use my code Pernella to get 20% off any of the One Up Nutrition protein powders. This is both gonna give us some extra protein and also some really delicious flavor. And then we're pretty much there for the ingredients. If you do want it to be a sweet ice cream, you can add some more sweetener in there. And if anyone's wondering with my sweetness consumption, I think I'm still doing pretty good about it. I took a break off of it. Now we're gonna mix this around. And I wanna make it very clear that even though I make these recipes all the time, absolutely majority of my diet comes from whole foods. But if it comes to ice cream and deciding whether I'd rather eat regular ice cream or anabolic ice cream, like the ones we're making today, I choose anabolic any day not just because I can eat like five times as much but also because I'm still in alignment with my goals and it even helps me up my protein which is something we want to build the muscles this next step is optional you know how I said that this was my favorite type of ice cream when I was a kid well I gotta show you something I just recently realized that you can get gummies that are sweetened with stevia or monk fruit and one of them is the Lily's gummies there's also another brand called sweet and a whole package like this has only 70 calories and 25 grams of dietary fiber. Obviously, gummies isn't healthy for you, but if you are to eat gummies and you are to want to make a popsicle with gummies, like my childhood favorite popsicles. I'm about to say lollipops the whole time. It's like an ice cream lollipop, isn't it? Then I would say this could be a good option. So we're gonna add some of these popsicle ice cream, but you don't have to do that. For me, it's just a little extra icing on top. And listen, I went to Target to see if I could find some of those popsicle molds and Target didn't have them. So we're using a cupcake holder. And what we're gonna do, I had some popsicles in the fridge and I took out these and I'm gonna cut them so we have some sticks. I really hope this works out. This ice cream, you don't have to make as popsicles. I just wanted to change up the different ice creams we're making today. So I wanted to make this a popsicle, but you could absolutely just spread it out on a sheet and put it in the fridge like this and just eat it with a spoon like you normally would. But I wanted to make this a popsicle. And I'm only gonna use a few of these gummies just to make sure it doesn't stick and we can get them out of there. Three in each, I think is perfect. And then we're just gonna pour it in. Mm. And now we'll just put that in the freezer and move on to the next. The next ice cream that we're gonna be making is the one that I think most of us know as the anabolic ice cream. But this recipe, really freaking enjoy. First things first, you need a blender. I'm gonna add mine onto my scale here. Wow, my blender's heavy. The first thing I'm gonna put in is some frozen strawberries. But you can also use any other berry you would like to substitute with something else. I'm gonna put in 140 grams, which is also one cup. So it'll taste real fruity. Fruity, we love the fruity. Next, I'm gonna add some ice. If I knew how my ice machine works. The next thing I'm gonna add is some protein powder because we wanna make sure this is a protein ice cream. And I'm gonna use almost a scoop, but I just put 30 grams. I'm gonna add half a cup of almond milk and you can obviously use whatever other milk of your own choice if you prefer. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you want, you can add in a little bit of stevia or a sweetener, just a tad. 
And then the most important ingredient that you can substitute with other things, which I'll explain, but this is the thing that's gonna make it very fluffy of an ice cream or like build it up. But you don't wanna put too much because that can really kind of upset at least my stomach. So I would be a little careful with that. You can use sanguine gum, which is what I have, or gore gum. Or if you can't find any of that, you can also use cornstarch, which obviously is gonna change a little bit in the macros, but I think that's also a little easier on the stomach. So just whatever you can find and play around with, I honestly would just put a tiny little bit like two grams or one gram or three grams if you're small. I guess I put a quarter of a teaspoon in there. And now we blend. We'll start off a little soft. You're gonna have to probably like mix it around sometimes when it gets stuck. I just realized there was more in the blender, so now it's just all the way packed. It was a little bit too small of a bowl. Mmm, it's so fresh. <gasps> you definitely need to eat it right away because this thing has melted while I was taking a thumbnail. And also, you can see the other fail. This injured me trying to pour it into the bowl in a nice looking way. Let's try that again. I failed just a few times. A lot of people ask me if you can freeze these ice creams and eat them later. And yesterday, I actually brought ice cream with me to the gym. So let's go back in time for a second. I just finished my workout and it is hot and I'm late today. I want something icy. And I'm in luck because today, this video is sponsored by Icy Breeze, which literally is a portable AC. How crazy is that? People have been asking me, can you put this ice cream in the freezer and eat it the day after? Well, we're about to find out. It blows ice cold air out. Like colder than when your AC in your car is blowing on its highest level. It's a true AC, not a swap cooler. There is a 110 to 220 V power supply. And as an add-on, you can also get a 6 AH battery in as well as eight inch corded remote. So you don't even need it to have it plugged into anything. This battery lasts for six and a half hours. It's gonna snap that in right there. All you gotta do is put in a little bit of ice, a little bit of water. There's nothing better than a cold drink right after a workout. Right. Whatever drink you feel like, maybe even a little snack or even something as good as ice cream. Like I literally have just been working out and it is still ice cream that just shows how cold it stays so let's keep it closed if you're actually gonna put this in the freezer and eat it the day after i would definitely take it out a few minutes or 10 or 20 before you're actually gonna eat it and it turns into a little bit more icy ice cream oh yeah it's still that's good. a good post-workout snack wow and the full price starts at only 289 dollars. there's a full life warranty i could have really used this back when i lived in an apartment that had no ac you can just use it like this or you can attach it to this long thing and blow someone who needs a little air con from the fog and also when you're not running the ac this ice it's gonna last for days thank you icy breeze for sponsoring this video i'll put a link in the bio for you to check out icy breeze for yourself the last ice cream that we're gonna be making today has only two two ingredients and I wanted to include this one for any sandwich ice cream lovers that really want it to be high protein but also as simple as possible so you don't have to make everything yourself with this recipe and you'll see in a moment what I mean by that. The number one ingredient that you're gonna need is some protein powder. I'm gonna use this blueberry muffin from One Up Nutrition and here's the thing you need in total one scoop but because we need two sandwich browns we're gonna add half a scoop first in our little bowl here. You don't need to use baking powder I'm just gonna add a little bit in there and then I'm just adding a tiny little bit of water just enough for it to be able to be mixed around without it being too watery because we want it to be crunchy and then I'm just gonna smoothen it out in the bowl here just to get that roundness because it is gonna be one of the sandwich parts I sit anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds you can make both at the same time but right now I'm just enjoying licking the spoon while I look for a flip on hold so this is our ice cream sandwich number one and now I'm just gonna make the other one the exact same way. Now when you have your two little sandwich 
just your two little things for the sandwich. We gotta need a little middle part, which is the actual ice cream part. And for that, I wanted to make this one as easy as possible. You can use any of the self-made ice cream from the other recipes, or I wanted to share the option of getting a protein ice cream at the store if you just wanna buy it and have it already prepared, made. And you can use Halo Top, which is the one I'm gonna go with today. But I think there's so many different options now. When I go into the grocery store, there's like five different protein ice cream options depending on obviously which store you're going in America. You had me at hello. So yeah, any one of them that you find could be delicious to try out. And I'm gonna use half a cup and we're gonna make an ice cream sandwich. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna add half a cup of this ice cream on here, which is about 60 grams. And that's it. Let's give it a taste. It's crunchy. Pay attention to the crunch. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Wow. You're never buying a regular ice cream sandwich again, are you? The popsicles have been in the freezer for about an hour now. It could definitely need some more time, but let's have a look and see if it's done. In these four popsicle combined, we got 37 grams of protein and under 200 calories. That's pretty insane. Let's see. That's a good sign. So good so far. Ah, I'm so excited for this because I know it's delicious. Oh, there's the gummy bears. I see it. I may have failed the aesthetics, but the taste of this ice cream is so delicious. So don't judge a book by its cover. That's just delicious. If you're just making it in a bowl, it'll look like this. I don't know why I'm actually teaching you how to eat ice cream from a bowl, but then you take a spoon and then you just take a bite like this. Mm, such a good snack. Especially with the little gummy bears. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, making some ice cream. If you liked it and you want to join the family, subscribe. But more importantly, remember to be kind and loving to yourself today. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.